Travis back again here from Apro Design. And I recently got a chance to work with the amazing JP and Julia from over at Healthy Junk Food on YouTube. Uh, they have an amazing channel where they recreate uh, different fast foods. They make big foods. They do all kinds of fun stuff. If you haven't seen their channel, go ahead and hit the link down in the description. Most of you are probably coming from their channel to see me. So in that case, welcome to Apro Design. Um, I pretty much do 3D printed logos for YouTubers. I do some props. I do some fun logos for the companies. Um, I just have fun with my channel. Uh, stick around and subscribe if you want to see some more uh, check out some of my other videos but let's move on to why you're really here you want to see how I made this amazing emoji giant bento box because it's freaking crazy when JP messaged me about this I he told me he wanted it to be big and uh, I don't know how many of you know about 3d printing but when you're doing something big with 3d printing it can take a very long time uh, the pieces that I ended up printing for this thing were massive. They were probably at least 10 inches across each and like 4 inches high. And to put that into perspective in 3D printing, uh, those each of those pieces took about a little over 20 hours each. And there was a total of 12 different pieces. Uh, the, the larger pieces took over 20 hours, the smaller pieces took about eight, 6 to 8 hours I think. So there was a lot of printing time involved with this and JP <laughs> originally had asked me if I could do this in a week and I was like, no, no dude, <laughs> this isn't going to happen. It took a little bit longer than that. I'm really happy with the way the box turned out and I'm really happy with the way that JP and Julia utilized it because it looks amazing. For those of you that know about 3D modeling, modeling something like this is not too technically difficult. It's basically a box with you know a couple of shapes cut out of it. So um, I'm running the time lapse footage right here. It's a little short video that shows you how it was, it was modeled. Um, that wasn't too difficult. Uh, the difficulty lied in, um, I actually had to, to slice the, um, the piece right down the middle and then I made, basically made it into quads. So like I said before, there was 12 pieces total. And then each of those pieces was moved over to software called Simplify 3D, which is a 3D printer slicer. Um, and basically what that does is it uh, slices up the, the file into individual slices that the printer can manage. For those of you that don't know about 3D printing, it's basically extruded plastic that comes out of a hot nozzle, almost like a glue gun. Um, it gets put down one layer at a time onto a printing surface, like a glass bed or something. Uh, and then it just print, it keeps on going from there um, layer by layer. So that's why it actually takes so long because the nozzle is just moving back and forth like this, just with a small like 0.4 millimeter um, uh, extrusion so it's it's pretty small it's pretty time consuming anyway after the printing was done I went ahead and put the the um, pieces together on the bottom black box area I actually used epoxy to seal all those pieces together I didn't really want to use epoxy on the gray portion because I knew food would be eaten out of it which if you talk about 3d printing 3d printing and food probably shouldn't be mixed that much um, it's more using 3D prints over and over with food that's a bad thing. Uh, there's a couple other things that you don't want to do with food, but uh, one time use should be fine. I didn't, like I said, I used the epoxy on the black portion on the bottom, and then I kind of just two-sided taped the, um, the gray portion into there and put a small amount of glue in between some of the bigger portions just so it would stick together. And the same thing with the red pieces on the outside, those were epoxy also. So anyways, I'm really excited how this uh, Moji Bento box, giant box turned out. I know that they were gonna have a competitive eater eat out of this thing, and I still haven't seen the video. I've just seen an image of it, which I've shown you guys here. Uh, it looks amazing, it, it's just awesome. I'm so happy to be a part of this. And thank you, JP and Julie, for including me in such an awesome um, project. It was a lot of fun, and I appreciate all you guys watching. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe. Talk to you later.